good morning students how are you all hope you all are fine i am your it instructor dwani advani today we will move ahead with the next chapter that is chapter number 2 memory and storage but before i start with this chapter let me give you a quick revision of our previous chapter in chapter number 1 we have seen about various input and output devices input devices like keyboard mouse touch screen touch pad microphone and various output devices also we have seen like printer monitor speaker so in previous chapter we have studied about various input and output devices of the computer now in this chapter chapter number 2 memory and storage we will study about the memory of a computer so in this video i'll cover some topics like introduction of this chapter bits and byte and what is internal memory let's start with the introduction students do you know what is the most important or most precious gift we have got from the god can anyone yes it is a brain brain is the most precious gift it is being given to us by the god the most precious gift why because we can think brain through brain we can think we have got the thinking ability computer cannot think of its own but still computer is superior to human being why because of its huge storage capacity who is the brain of computer it is a cpu yes cpu is a brain of computer cpu controls all the information it receives through input unit and stores in the memory like human being computer also has short term and long term memory but human being forget some information right for example if i give you some task today and i'll ask you about the same task after one month definitely you will forget right human being have this disadvantage we cannot remember for a long period of time but computer can do so computer can remember the information for a long period of time and we can retrieve the information from the computer whenever we want let's move ahead to bits and bytes now what is this bits and bytes see a computer can understand only two states of information that is on and off One represents on and zero represents off. These two digits, zero and one, are also called binary digits. We can also say that computer understands binary language. Binary language is made up of only two digits, that is zero and one. The amount of data and instructions a computer can store is measured in bytes. जैसे कुछ वेट मेशर करना होता है राइट कुछ लिक्विड चीज़ तो वी मेशर इन लीटर्स और कुछ डिस्टेंस मेशर करना होता है तो वी मेशर इन किलोमीटर्स एंड मीटर्स सेम वे द अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा एंड इंस्ट्रक्शंस दैट कैन बी स्टोर्ड इन अ कंप्यूटर कैन बी मेशर्ड इन बाइट Every computer has certain amount of memory, राइट इट डिटरमाइंस द नंबर ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स अ कंप्यूटर कैन रन एट अ टाइम a computer memory is mainly classified into two types that is internal memory and external memory internal memory is again classified into two parts ram and rom and external memory is again classified into three parts hard disk cd and flash disk let's look at this memory chart 8 bits makes 1 byte then 1024 bytes makes 1 kilobyte 1024 kilobyte makes 1 megabyte 1024 megabyte makes 1 gigabyte 1024 gigabyte is equals to 1 terabyte in this way you can see geobyte is the highest memory then let's move towards the memory memory a computer memory is classified into two parts internal memory and external memory internal memory is again classified into ram and rom in this video i'll explain you about ram and rom and in the next video we will go with the external memory 
internal memory internal memory is also called primary memory or main memory now this type of memory that is internal memory is very easier to access of all the different memories it is fastest of all and it is a built in memory designed to store data and instructions but the disadvantage with internal memory is data is erased when computer turns off jaise hi hum computer band kar dete hain the data which is there on internal memory it gets deleted automatically internal memory is further classified into two that is ram and rom ram ram stands for random access memory it stores the data and instructions temporarily and we can say it works like a blackboard which can be constantly overwritten with the new data blackboard pe kaise hum log kuch bhi likhte hain we can erase it and we can write the new data same way on temporary memory we can remove the data and we can change it information which is stored on ram is lost or deleted as soon as the computer turns off and it is also called term, uh, termed as short term memory why it is called short term memory because the data gets automatically deleted when the computer turns off and information on this can be changed constantly it is like a calculator where information exists till the calculator is on the moment you turn off the calculator all the data automatically disappears right so we can compare this with the calculator next is rom rom is also a type of internal memory rom stands for read only memory now what is rom holds rom holds all the startup instruction whenever we start the computer so there are some instructions which are going on right so all these instructions are being hold by the rom it also consists the programs to check the proper working of a computer then the instructions which are stored on the rom cannot be changed we can only read that instructions we cannot change the instructions written on the rom are permanent then information is not lost when the computer turns off unlike ram whatever information is stored on the ram it automatically gets deleted but the information which is there on the rom is not deleted ram is termed as short term memory and rom is termed as long term memory because the information is always there on the rom information on the rom cannot be changed for example we can take the example of a cd right uh, like audio disc or a cd cd pe jo bhi songs vagera hote hain you can simply listen that you cannot change that so it can be compared with the cd where the information is only readable we cannot change that information let's repeat the points covered in this video memory a wonderful gift as i said human being has got a wonderful gift from a god that is memory we have a capability to think by our own computer does not have a capability to think of its own but still computers are superior because of its storage capacity because computer can store a long a large amount of data and for a long long period of time whatever information is there on a computer it is never erased by its own right whenever we want after 5 years 10 years we will get the information from the computer then bits and bytes 8 bits is equal to 1 byte computer understands only binary language that is made up of 0 and 1 here 0 and 1 1 represents on state and 0 represents off state then memory computer memory is divided into two parts internal memory and external memory internal memory is also divided into two parts that is ram and rom let's look at the difference between ram and rom ram stands for random access memory and rom stands for read only memory the information which is stored on ram is temporary in nature and the information stored on rom is permanent in nature ram is also termed as short term memory because the information gets deleted and rom is termed as long term memory because the information stays there permanently 
data is erased when the computer turns off on ram the data automatically gets deleted when the computer turns off and on rom a data is always there whether the computer is on or off the data remains there on the computer data can be overwritten for example calculator right or we can also take example of a blackboard we can erase it write it again again we can erase it and write it again so ram can be compared with the calculator or a blackboard where data can be overwritten constantly and on rom a data cannot be overwritten the data which is there on the rom will be there always for example audio cd audio cd you can read that right it is readable but you cannot change that hope you are clear with this topic internal memory ram and rom in the next video we will see about external memory along with this video i am sending a pdf file of objectives of chapter number 2 that has to be done in the textbook itself thank you and have a great day ahead